Everything about the Paradox Church, our very existence, our mission, anything good that we've done has been because of faithfulness. The faithfulness of Jesus to love the city of Fort Worth and to plant a people in it, a people hungry for his power and his presence. And then your faithfulness to love him and to make much of his name. And his faithfulness has continued. After years of just waiting for God to lead us to a permanent place, all the while seeking his power and presence in us as a people, in the midst of a global pandemic, he provided. We acquired land in downtown Fort Worth in July of 2020, and then sought his will for what faithfulness would look like in us as his people. As the elders prayed through how to take the next step, we wanted our primary goal to center around our affections for Jesus, our desires. We want nothing less than for us to treasure Jesus with every aspect of our being. Our affections are pulled in so many different directions, but he's faithful to call us to more of himself, and you have been faithful to listen. And so last fall, we spent five weeks talking about our desires, our desires for more of him, more of his kingdom, for revival and relationships, and also around our finances and other things that tend to draw us away from him. Our primary goal was 100% commitment. All of us saying, we're all in. We're all in with Jesus. We're all in with his kingdom advancing in Fort Worth through us. We're all in. And we set the Lord first in our life and raised over $6.3 million committing towards this gospel lineage and legacy right here in the city that we've been sent to. Since then, we have moved from sleeping on our big brother's couch at Doxology Bible Church to renting an apartment at the Ridgely Theater, all the while as we start to build our permanent home downtown. And Jesus has continued to be faithful no matter where we are. We celebrated Easter this year with over a thousand people. We planted our fourth church in South Fort Worth, sending out Pastor Brad and 50 of our brothers and sisters to start Redemption Hill. Paradox Kids has had over 350 children checked into their classrooms over this past year. We've baptized 31 people. We celebrated on our land in late June and obtained the final permit from the city of Fort Worth to begin to build. He is always faithful. And our desire for the next 12 months is that we would continue to be faithful witnesses to his goodness and his glory and his grace. Now, we are at the midpoint of the Desire Initiative. As we begin construction at 900 West Belknap, we expect this work to take around 12 months. However, we remain open-handed, asking diligently for God to provide, to lead us, resting in his continued faithfulness. This gives us another year to remain faithful to what God has called us to. We will continue to meet at the Ridgely Theater. We will continue to preach the gospel and be faithful witnesses of the glory and grace of God. We're starting an initiative to plant churches globally in unreached people groups. We're gonna to continue to plant churches locally through Plant Fort Worth. We will continue to push back darkness in the city, scattered throughout neighborhoods as city groups, caring for single moms through Embrace Grace groups, fostering and adopting children through our orphan care ministry, and bringing gospel light to the injustice of sex trafficking. We will continue to remain faithful in the mission we have now, even as we await the construction of our future mission headquarters. What we wanna do this fall is recommit to what Jesus has been leading us in, and even for some of us to commit for the first time. First, to those of you who are new to the paradox in the last 12 months, we want you to join us on this journey. We want you to pray about your commitment, not just in generosity, but in preaching the gospel, planting churches, and pushing back darkness prayerfully consider what faithfulness to the mission looks like for you. And also take some time to pray about the dollar amount that the Lord is calling you to commit for this next year. If you're not yet a partner, join us in our partnership class. Find community in a city group and use your spiritual gifts to build up the body. Secondly, for those of you who made a commitment last year, maybe it's everything you can do right now to keep it. You stepped out in faith, you stretched yourself in a deep trust and pure obedience to the Lord, and you have to really trust the Lord to provide right now. We want to encourage you. We want to pray with you. Keep pressing into what Jesus called you to. Write that number down again on the commitment card and ask God to help you finish strong and to continue to increase your faith. And then finally, there are those of you who made a commitment. And it's not that the original commitment was easy. It felt like a huge step of faith. 
but God has provided in ways you didn't expect. Perhaps you think God wants to continue to stretch you. Begin to pray and consider, does God want me to take an even bigger step to increase my commitment for the coming year? Here's what I know will be true about the next 12 months. Jesus will be faithful. He will do mighty work in and through us. We only need to be faithful witnesses of his goodness and his grace and his glory. And if we do that, this gospel legacy he's building in us will continue for generations to come. We get to plant this 10-year-old church for 200 more years, a gospel lineage of grace for our children, for the needy and broken in the city, and for the glory of God. I don't want you to miss out on all that God might do, so let's do this together. I look forward to Jesus growing our marriage and growing our family and just growing our community at the Paradox, and I look forward to baptizing our kids here one day the same way we were baptized at Paradox. Man, more than anything, like I want a revival to start here, and I want us to be the guys that are on fire starting this reinvigoration of what it looks like to be on fire for the Lord. And I think it starts here. I think it starts with a group of believers that fully believe that God is gonna do amazing things as we get to come under one roof. Just finding in the ways for the, the spirit to move in powerful, mighty ways, that it would start a new resurgence of true gospel-centered passion after what God's gonna do here.